evening, good morning, good day, wherever you are in the world. I hope it's a good one for you today. As we celebrate today another Gidagi, Sum of Sunday, an opportunity for us to get together, to hear a hymn, to hear a message, to pray together and have a blessing as we move forward in the week. This takes place on epostle.net every Sunday evening at 5 o'clock Pacific time. So wherever you are in the world, I know you catch up with us, or let's say it properly, we catch up with you. Whatever the case, we are together for a few moments. So we played a hymn. You say, what kind of hymn was that? That sounded like a battle cry. Actually, you're right. That what we played at the very beginning was the song Sardarabad, and it comes to us from a, a musician, Edgar Hovhannisian. He orchestrated that beautiful song. And the words to that, which we didn't hear, I'm, I'll share it with you in a couple of moments, comes to us from Baruir Sebag, a prolific Armenian poet who captured the essence of what Sardarabad is. Today we're going to be talking about Sardarabad. We're going to be talking also about Memorial Day, which happens to take place here in the United States. And of course, the church feast, which is Pentecost. And what I'd like to do is share with you uh, uh, how all of these are so interconnected. But let me begin with Sardarabad because um, it is uniquely unique to Armenian people. This was in 1918, during the days May 22nd to 29, the Armenian people held off the Turkish army from coming in, the Ottoman army from coming into Armenia. What we have left today is a very, very small part of the entire Armenian land that we have. But this small little area, Eastern Armenia, the Turks were ready to take over, and it would have lit obliterated Armenia, especially when you consider that the Armenian army army had shrunk so much. We were in the middle of a genocide. We were being slaughtered right and left. And the leadership in Yerevan, when they saw the Turks coming, notified the Catholicos of all Armenians, Gevork V, that the Turks are coming in, invading. It is best that you and the few priests that are at at Echmiadzin, that you evacuate. Get out of there as quick as you can, because the Turks are, are right there. Givork V, a very courageous, a very leader, a true leader of the Armenian people, refused to leave Echmiadzin. Instead, instead, he had the bells of Echmiadzin ringing. And likewise, the bells of all the churches throughout Yerevan were ringing, inviting people to to become a resistance with whatever weapons that they had. If you were plowing your land, pick up the plow, pick up the shovel, whatever it is, you were there to hold off and protect that life, that little life that you had. And so Sardarabad was this area which many people will look at and say that the Armenians held off. And what we call is like a, an opportunity where they did it. Now, that's we, we use political correct words a lot of times. In my vocabulary, that to me is a miracle. There was the miracle of God happening right there. And that's why I think Sardarabad literally is one of those hymns that we need to proudly proclaim. That yes, because Baruch Sevag in his words, he says, When there isn't a way around it, when there isn't a solution, a possible solution, it is the crazies, the fools, those people who are passionate about life, who figure out a way of getting around it. And really, when you think about it, it is fools. It is the crazies who say, hey, let's ring some bells. But it's those crazy ones who have a complete total faith, an uncompromising faith that, yes, we are here today and we are going to make it with God's help. Because with God on your side, you're no longer a minority, but you're a majority. And that's what they did. That's what they did at Sardarabad. And that's what we celebrate on Sardarabad. Now, here in the United States, tomorrow happens to be Memorial Day. It's a day for us to stop all the things that we do and focus in on those people who have given their life, paid what we call the ultimate sacrifice, the ultimate price. Everything in the world has a price to it except human life. 
And so when someone gives their life, we call that the ultimate price. Mm -hmm. It's priceless. There is no, you can't put a, a, an amount on it. It is that person that is given once, a gift by God and for us to use. And if you squander it, it's wasted. And that's why it's so important as a human being, with a Christian message is always to use your resources to celebrate that life that you have. And some people have given their life for others. And so we, we take a pause and we remember Memorial Day. Now, I want to bring this all together because as Armenian Christians, we have an opportunity to remember the historical background of Sardarabad, about the difficulties that we've had, about the beautiful freedoms that we can enjoy. But what's necessary is we need to talk about, we need to communicate the message of peace. And we do that with the tool that we receive today. Today happens to be a triple event. Yes, I remembered Sardarabad. I remembered Memorial Day on the church calendar. Today happens to be Pentecost, exactly 50 days since Easter. And so we started off actually Giragi 50 days before Easter at the beginning of Lent. We are now 100 days into it, into Giragi. Easy way of remembering 50 days from Easter to today, the Pentecost. It is a story that comes to us from the book of Acts, St. Luke has written a, a beautiful account of what happens to the apostles after Jesus' resurrection. I invite you to read it, Acts chapter 2, where the Holy Spirit descends upon the apostles and gives them the gift of language, the ability to communicate with others. And I ask you today as, as a small little meditation for you to think about what are the gifts that you have that allow you to communicate the beauty and the wonder that God has all around us. When you think about something like Sardarabad, and I said earlier, there's a miracle that this happens. Are we proclaiming that miracle? Are we saying that, yes, it is possible that we can find new means of resolving conflict, not with weapons of war, but with weapons of communication, weapons that extend ourselves to others. And the answers are all there. The answers have to be there. When Jesus was born, the message of the shepherd, given to the shepherds was peace on earth, goodwill towards men. Now we've strayed from that because of all of our, uh, all of our ways, but what we, we need to do is focus in on that very special uh, message the message of peace. And we have that opportunity today. Sardarabad from our history, Memorial Day, looking at the sacrifices that we give for the freedoms and the joys that we enjoy in life, and then bringing it all together with the gift of the Holy Spirit, namely the gift of communications. That is a message that comes to us loud and clear this weekend. And I invite you to meditate on it and make yourself an instrument of peace. That does it for today. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Meanwhile, throughout the week, please join us at epostle.net. That's apostolic evangelism for an electronic universe. God bless you all. We end always by remembering that Christ is in our midst. Christos imich mit Heidnitzach. Christos